what you're supposed to do is reveal truth because he is truth, right? Right? Okay. But the topic of this message, I want people to understand that, you know, I heard, you know, they got a song, you know, secular song that says love is blind. And I look at that song and, and first of all, I understand who is love and God is love and God sees all things. But I want people to understand, you know, the, what's blind is lust. L lust is blind, definitely, because lust is a form of darkness and the darkness to ignore what what is there, but do not, uh, don't want to believe the truth. You know what I'm saying? It, darkness is something that ignores and it, it, see, ignorance is about not seeing what's there. You know what I'm saying? You know, blindness is like, I can't see, you know, but ignorance is like, you're not seeing it, but it's there kind of like an ideal of that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but really love is not blind, but love sees. But here's the but this is the beautiful thing about, you know, uh the ideal love of God. If you understand it from Genesis to Revelations, that God seeing the sin, God seeing the wrongdoing. He see and he realized the sins that humanity has committed throughout human history. You know what I'm saying? And he sees all that and he says, wow, they did a whole lot of horrible things towards me and towards the, my laws, but I love them in spite of that, that we know uh, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. Is this love gift that God has given us to that that I like what it says in John? It says that John uh, Jesus says he 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 know that men has darkness in it. He he he's not he's not blind to our wrongdoing. He knows that something is wrong with us. You know what I'm saying? He knows he he understands the condition of humanity it says um let me see it let me start okay uh john 3 and 19 and this is the condemnation that light is come unto the world and men love darkness rather than the light because their deeds are evil that shows a the, the that shows that uh god jesus is aware of men is in love darkness. He's aware of men's condition that is going on inside of them. Of course, being the light, you're supposed to be aware. You're supposed to be aware and revealing and seeing things. And the thing is, that's really what makes God's love is so powerful that it can see our wrongdoing and see us, you know, where we're the wrong condition that we're at right now and see us to the right condition. And the thing is, this world system is just, unfortunately, has been following the God of this world, blinding the minds of men, blinding them to uh, not see that, uh, that, that the love, the great love that has been given towards them. I mean, people, these to this day, have a difficult time of understanding what Jesus Christ did on the cross concerning yielding himself to be beaten and bruised. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, I, I went to a church, uh, I go to uh, Resonant, and we saw the passion of Christ. And we, uh, a person invited a friend to see, you know, go to church. And it's like, you know, um, the girls stayed for a little while to see some of the movie, but you know, the, the, that she, you know, saw, you know, the back, you know, the crucifixion, she left, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, 
and she left and never came back. But it see here, darkness, people in darkness can't recollect what is of what was a true spiritual significance of an idea of love that is being revealed. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, that's the problem of a lot of people, you know, unfortunately Christians, you know, they don't understand the love of God. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand to what extent of the sacrifice that was given and sh and and to genuinely understand what must be given in return, that should be given in return. You know what I'm saying? That we're supposed to surrender all. Yes, you know, it's love the Lord thy God with all your heart, all your soul, all your mind. But the thing is, it love can only be as much blind as much as we allow the world's influential influence of lust to uh darken our hearts, as what Paul talks about in um Ephesians uh three. It talks about you know that we are our hearts are darkened and we're alienated by the ideal concerning of God. And and it's just so sad. Oh, that's, I think, Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4, yeah. I think that's Ephesians 4. That we're dark in our hearts. And love, you know, and, and you know, this, and you know, this world defining love is just, it's amazing. It's amazing to really truly know what love is and see how much this world has defined love and seeing how people are not questioned to examine the ideal aspects of love, to to see that they should differentiate love and, and, and true love concerning God in the world ideal lie of love, pretty much. You know, that it's amazing that I've been uh, uh, trying to do it throughout my you know ministry to try to separate love from lust. And it's important that this separation happen. It's, it's important that the world see the differentiation, you know, of this love, of love and lust is what, you know, so people won't see love is blind. You no, know, they will see that lust will blind you. You know what I'm saying? Lust will blind you spiritually that you will see that this world uh, that the that that this world is supposed to be a treasure. This earth is supposed to be a treasure. Uh, people, you supposed to seek after people based upon the lust of their flesh. You know what I'm saying? Seek after things in your life. That's when you know that's the the agenda of lust is supposed to blind us with our desires for people in the lust of the flesh and the things of this earth is what's really blind. But love sees and sees every detail and aspect. Of everything that we do, whether good or bad, love sees it. And still, God's love love us and try to direct us back to him to try to send somebody towards your direction to uh, show you for the love of God, to try to get someone to influence you about questioning and seeking and searching about to find out the love that Jesus Christ has given you on the cross. God love just is really relentless. It is trying to, you know, uh, get, send somebody, get a song somewhere, have someone around you mentioning about the love. God is trying to do whatever it takes for those to uh, genuinely understand within their heart to decide to want to at least evaluate his love. I mean, evaluate this love to uh, understand, wait a minute, I, this world system been telling me this, this world been telling me that, but you're telling me this, and this is the ideal of what really love is all about, and it's supposed to make sense to me that love, you know, is supposed to make this great impact that I, that's immeasurable great impact that can't that no that nothing in this world or nobody in this world cannot give to me is what love is supposed to do and and because it sees everything you know yet as what the scripture says and yet we were sinners Jesus Christ loved us uh Romans 5 I believe 
You know what I'm saying? Yet we were sinners. He see us doing all this wrong towards him, but yet he loved us to try to get those to reach out towards us. Is what makes love this seeing things and love this meaningful, a uh, 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 meaningful uh, thing that that you will want to have this kind of love in your heart because living life meaningless is what it is. Less you 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 you're you feel less of yourself. You feel like you're not really accomplishing things when you're doing something meaningless. You know what I'm saying? And you feel worth less. You know what I'm saying? That's what lust is all about. A worthless act based upon the lust of the flesh that keeps us blindfolded to something that is supposed to give us true worth and truly fulfill us to make our lives meaningful, that it truly has a purpose, that it can, you know, uh, that is greater than anything in the universe, really. I like to use the universe. You know what I'm saying? It's uh, unmeasurable, measure, im, sorry, immeasurable uh, idea that God's love is supposed to be, you know? And it's just sad that, you know, God's love is being so minimized, you know? And, 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 and the world system is God, people believe that, you know, that love is blind, you know, because, because they now believe, now pe most people believe they're the world's idea of love, and now they say love is blind, and they say, oh, I do love them, but I'm blindfolded about it, you know. No, we're supposed to, love is supposed to help us understand why things happen, why people do this, why people do that. Love is supposed to bring an understanding to situation to make it make sense that guess what negativity is in everybody uh positive things is in everybody but the thing is we must understand what the reason why people do things and, and and reason why and based upon how they've been impacted in their life that we should you know learn how to treat them concerning that understanding is what love is supposed to be doing that, you know, makes sense. Oh, yeah, it's uh, Ephesians uh, 4 and 18. Having the understanding darkened, being alienated from the life of God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart. You know what I'm saying? That, that that's what really this world system is all about doing, you know, trying to blind our hearts with this lust uh, mindset of, of this world system, but the love of God sees all things, you know what I'm saying? And, and love sees the wrong, sees the right and makes sense of it to make us truly make a true love impact that Jesus Christ has showed us on the cross, being beaten, 39 lashes, crown of thorns, carrying it all the way to Mount Calvary to be lifted up and sees humanity in their wrongdoing and see the only remedy of these people is father forgive them for they know not what they do he sees the remedy of what the condition of humanity is and that's what makes love sees you know in spite i know we don't want to see the negative things that people have done to us you know we've been mistreated so bad by people that we don't want to see what the bad things they do. But love, when you have the love of God, you see it and you make sense of it as what it says, having understanding, you having understanding concerning what they did. In spite of that, you will show forth the love of God because you're supposed to see people as victims of the deception of the serpent, you know, all the way from the beginning. You know what I'm saying? People are victims. But your love will see that and see that love can only be the answer. Forgiveness can only be the answer to make sense of giving this person more and more and more each day. All right, that's the message. Hope you got it. Love isn't blind. It sees everything and it understands that forgiveness by the power of Jesus Christ, the God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ can only be the answer of anybody's life if there's going to be any remedy at all 
to help them. And that's the message. God be the Lord and from never in Jesus' name. Amen.